Hello friends! Uh, so, in this video I'm going to be working on the Truly Victorian TVE 41 1903 plain blouse waist, which I had started it uh, in this um, absolutely wonderful uh, skulls and lace fabric, but as you can see, it, 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 it has no floop, so it ended up being a mock-up, and that's okay. Um, but you know what? It turns out it fit, and that is good. So, uh, I, I am going to show off the making of the very fancy mock-up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All of these bits will be explained later, but good gourd was I frustrated when this fabric didn't work out. So yes, I needed to back this with fun music, because I wasn't about to waste all of these shots. I'd also like to add that, even though I've been sewing historical costumes for over 20 years, there is still room for mistakes and improvement. By the way, all of this montage only took about 6 hours to film, including setting up shots. Of course, it helps when you mostly don't move your cameras. Yeah, not enough floop in this fabric. As you can see, it, it can stand up on its own. So what I did was I went ahead and uh, I got more of that uh, linen that I used to make the skirt. And as you can see, prime floopage. So, yes, let's get into making the real thing. I started by finishing the bottom edge of the skirt piece with a quarter inch double fold hem.
then went straight into finishing the back edges of the skirt piece, turning under the edge by half an inch and pressing, and then again by an inch. These back edges were then stitched close to the edge of the first fold. Two rows of gathering stitches were sewn into the bottom edge of the blouse front before sewing the fronts to the backs. All seams that were not encased in some way were trimmed down and zigzagged along the raw edge. Then the shoulder seams were sewn and finished in the same way. The center front was then gathered and the blouse pinned to the skirt. Then the waist seam was sewn and the edges finished, just like the side seams and shoulders. The center back was finished just like the center back of the skirt. Next was the collar band. The instructions said to baste a half inch from the bottom edge of the inside collar band, which made it easier to press the seam allowance.
Then the inner and outer bands were sewn together, corners and edges clipped, and pressed right side out. The collar band was then pinned to the neckline, stitched down, and filled off camera later. The next step was to put two rows of gathering stitches into the sleeve heads and wrists. Then the sleeve seam was pinned and stitched closed, leaving two inches open at the wrist end. The sleeve seam was finished in the same way as the side and shoulder seams. Cuff pieces were pinned together, folding one end in by half an inch for felling later. They were then stitched and clipped. and turned right side out and pressed. Then the seam allowances at the wrist were pressed open, and the sleeve gathered to the cuff. Which was then sewn together and pressed and felled off camera. I chose to make the round stock collar, and the first step was to pin and flatline the linen to a slightly less floopy fabric. The seam allowances at the neck edge were then pressed up into the collar. The inner and outer collar pieces were pinned together along the top and back edges and stitched together.
The seam allowances were clipped, and the collar was turned right side out and pressed. It was then felled off camera. All right, friends. So, I do have buttons on, but guess what? I really phoned it in this time because I do not have uh, the final buttons that I want to use yet because I haven't really found them. Um, so what I did was instead of making buttonholes that I wasn't sure were going to be the same, the right size, is I did snaps. I still need to put um, hooks and eyes on the back of the collar, but I have put buttons and snaps on the cuffs. So I am now ready to stitch on the sleeves, which shouldn't take two forever. <laughs> we'll see. Finally, the sleeves were gathered to the armholes, pinned, stitched, and finished off just as the rest of the seams were. Okay, so it may not have prime floopage. It is indeed not as floopy as I'd hoped, but it's better than the original fabric was. I'll need to make another in black cotton lawn just to have a proper summer blouse. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll be back soon with the final piece of the ensemble, the jacket. Until next time, friends.